We get into a fight, I accidentally kill you. Hey guys, my name is Mike Moe and I'm playing Bruce Lee in Quentin Tarantino's upcoming movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So when I first got the call to audition for Bruce, uh, number one, I was excited, but I also said, wow, this is the time, it's go time. I've got to get really deep in not only to who Bruce was, but how he ate, how he trained. Uh, here are a few things that I did over the three month prep period that got me ready to play the little dragon himself, Bruce Lee. So I've been doing martial arts for over two decades, so the thing that I like to do to warm up is jump rope. Uh, Bruce was a big fan of boxing himself, so jumping rope is gonna get your, your nerves and your joints and your muscles warmed up. It's also gonna help you with your timing and your footwork. So we're gonna do three sets of push-ups. We're gonna start off with the trustworthy standard variation. I'm gonna start with 30 reps. Keep the eyes forward, back straight, and elbows are gonna pinch towards your ribs. Okay, cool, so after you do your first set of push-ups, 30 on either your palms or the knuckles. Now I'm gonna move to set number two. So we're gonna go to the archer. Fingers are gonna face outside, nice straight back. And this is all about time under tension on these. So I'm gonna do 20 of these reps. Okay, set two complete. So now we're gonna get into the air. We're gonna really work on these fast twitch muscle fibers and get to some Superman push-ups. Since this is the most advanced, we're gonna start with 10. So now that we're done with our push-ups, we're gonna take it to the ab workout now. We're gonna start with a hanging leg raise. Bruce was famous for his famous V-sits and this is a great way to develop that strength and stability in your core. We're gonna start with 20 reps. Squeezing at the top. So now that we've hit the center of our abs, we're gonna make sure we can work the obliques as well. So we're gonna do some twists. Okay, we're ready to hit the bags. Let's get into our martial arts theme part of our workout. I said empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. So I like to hit the gloves on this bag. Three rounds for three minutes. If you guys don't have gloves or access to a heavy bag, same idea. Shh. Shadow boxing with that same intensity. Okay, people, the gloves are literally off. So now we're gonna go to my bread and butter kicks. So we're gonna start with the round kick. It's a basic technique that anybody can learn properly and safely. For filming, we had to make sure that I was not only looking powerful and fast like Bruce himself, but I had to make sure that my kicks were 100% controlled because the last thing I wanted to do was break Mr. Pitt's ribs. Anybody accidentally kills anybody in a fight, they go to jail. It's called manslaughter. So knee comes up, twist the hips, Extend, retract, and back down. As you get more comfortable with that, it's all one rolling motion through the target. The most important part being getting your hips rolled over, keeping your hands protecting your body and head at all times. Push! 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 Bruce was the master of incorporating all different styles of striking, like these Taekwondo round kicks into his training. What I did was 30 different repetitions of variations of that round kick I showed you on both legs. That'll get your legs nice and warmed up, and we can finish with our burpees. 
We're done with our striking portion of our workout and we're gonna finish strong with burpees. So I'll do three sets of one minute burnout burpees. If I'm feeling great after those, I'll add in one more set of these variation burpees. So that's it guys. Hope you guys had fun joining me on my workout to become Bruce Lee. Make sure you guys check out Once Upon a Time in Hollywood coming to theaters this summer. And until then, be water my friend. <laughs>